Uh, one of the first things I like to try and figure out when looking at these um, biotech stocks is what do they have, what drugs are they already making, and what are they trying to acquire? So uh, how's that going to pan out in this story? So Riata has a drug that just got FDA approval to treat um, Friedrich's ataxia, which is a rare neurodegenerative disorder. It affects kids as young as five. Um, and so, you know, they're the first to get approval for a drug like this. Biogen has been trying to expand because they are well known for multiple sclerosis. That's how they've made a lot of their money. Those drugs are going off patent, so they're losing revenue, and so they've been looking for growth, and this is one of the ways that they're going to do that, is by um, buying this drug, which analysts say, uh, well, buying the company, which has this drug, which analysts say that by uh, peak sales will generate $1.5 billion. So a lot of strategic uh, sense there, Michelle, but you're constantly covering this sector, and it's not every day we see this company pull the trigger on a deal, right? You're absolutely right. This is Biogen's biggest deal uh, by a landslide, and it's all thanks to its new CEO, Chris Wiebacher. Wiebacher's known in the industry as kind of a, a deal maker. When he was at Sanofi, he bought Genzyme for $20 billion, um, and when they hired him, they hired him in November. It was well expected that he would do deals. He even said on his first earnings call, like, you shouldn't have hired me unless you expected me to do that. And he's telegraphed that he wants to expand in rare disease, immunology, psychiatry. And so this is really, it's kind of the perfect deal because it hits all the buckets. It's rare disease, it's neuro, it's going to help them with that growth. So A blockbuster drug uh, if it all pans out.